The solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more sub substances. Um, a solution has two parts, the solute and the solvent. The solvent is defined as the component that is the majority of the solution, and the solute is the small component that dissolves in the solvent. A lot of people think that a solution is always a liquid, but that's not necessarily true. Um, technically, a solution can be of any phase, gas, liquid, or solid, as long as the overall mixture is homogeneous. Uh, for example, a mixture of oil and water uh, is not a solution. Even though oil and water are both liquid, this is because the oil and the water are not evenly distributed in the system. Say you put some sodium chloride um, salt in a cup of water. Now, when the salt hasn't dissolved yet, this is technically still not a solution. Uh, it's the only it's still only a mixture of sodium chloride and water. But when you give it some time or give it a stir, the salt has dissolved. The mixture is now a solution, with sodium chloride being the solute and water being the solvent. You can also have solid solutions like metal alloys, for example, sterling silver. It is a homogeneous solid that is mainly made up of silver, uh, but it also has some nickels and copper, which are the solutes. And because they are homogeneously distributed in alloy, uh, it is a solution. Uh, now, a big part of chemistry is being able to monitor the amount of uh, substances in your solutions or constituents. Um, the easiest way is through concentration. Concentrations are defined as an amount of um, a constituent per an amount of the mixture. It describes the abundance of a constituent of a mixture. The concept of concentration is necessary because it allows you to compare and monitor the amount of, the amount of constituent in your mixture. Um, say you have a solution of sugar and water. So the water is the solvent because there's so much of it, and the sugar is the solute. Say you have three sugar molecules in this solution, then 10 sugar molecules in the next one, then 15, then 20 sugar molecules. Um, as you increase the amount of sugar in the solution, you say that the solution gets more concentrated. Now concentration is the amount of constituent per an amount of volume in that mixture. So if the total volume of each of these solutions is one liter, then what's the concentration of sugar in these solutions. So the first one has three sugar molecules in one liter of solution. So the concentration is three per liter. Uh, the next one has 10 sugar molecules in, in one liter of solution. So its concentration is 10 per liter. And the next two are first 15 per liter and 20 per liter. So you can clearly see that the more concentrated solution will have a higher concentration value. So these concentration values are actually called number concentrations. There are many kinds of concentrations that you will see. So number concentration is defined as the number of entities of a constituent in a mixture divided by the volume of the mixture. 